to tip or not to tip? That is the question. Well, a lot of the things we do at Urban Lodge are cutting edge and they're a little bit different. At Urban Lodge Brewery and Restaurant in Sauk Rapids, they decided to test out the no tipping policy. Uh, when we were conceiving our, our restaurant and working on our concept, one of the things that was becoming very popular across the country was the no tipping model. Urban Lodge owner Roy Dodd says the no tipping model took off last year with restaurants from New York to L.A. changing their policies. But he says their success only lasted so long. There was another restaurant group that did a study. They had 40 stores and they did a very thorough study of their customer base and surveyed them. And what they found amongst their customers were three things. First off, those that like the no tipping concept really love it and they gush about it. Although the survey revealed those that love not tipping, love not tipping, it also gave some insight to those who prefer to have the choice. 60% of their customers didn't like it because they felt like you were forcing them to tip by raising prices even though you're paying higher wages and it didn't change your bottom line as a, as a restaurant owner they felt like you were requiring them to tip and most people prefer to choose how to tip based on the service they do receive. Dodd says high turnover was also an issue the survey pointed out. He says at Urban Lodge they conducted their own survey and the results were similar. Found those same two things, the ones who love it, gush about it, and the ones who uh, want to control how they tip just don't like it and they're very quiet about that. Um, so that's what made us decide that it was time to go back to a traditional service model. Since Urban Lodge has started to accept tips, Dodd says staff have been happy with the decision. Chrissy Gatke, WJON.